Well, as, as you may know, uh, I work at CESCA, and we manage the regional research and education network in Catalonia. We are connected to the DIRIS, and uh, this is the map. Okay. Right. For the network, we have a small amount of dark fiber. It's only 24 kilometers compared with 6,000 kilometers that I have seen. It's nothing, but it's only for the institutions that are closer to our building. And we also manage a network of layer two circuits based on lead lines with Orange Business Services. I say that we manage them because although Orange creates uh, the villain, we manage the circuits, we can choose the number, the, the VLAN number, and once created, we can change the bandwidth capacity and we can change some parameters of the, of the circuit. We manage the two core nodes, they are linked with WDM and 10 gigabit per second this line, and the equipment are, today are Cisco Catalyst 6500 for the layer two, and 6500 for the layer three, but we are currently deploying CRS3, new CRS3 for IS3 in the two nodes. We also have um, browsers and service for services like 7200 and 2800 and service HP or whatever. And we also manage the internet exchange. We have three nodes in the internet exchange and the, the lines that connect these three nodes are one from the government and one from Orange Business Services. The services we offer are, well, it depends on what you <coughs> consider a service, it should be discussed. We offer layer two circuits between the different points of access of the institution. If there's a layer two circuit between them and SESCA, then it gives them the connection to the internet. If there's a layer two circuit between two points of access of the same institution, they, they carry internal information, they have their own VLAN, their own local area network of the institution using the network. And we also have this, uh, this kind of VLAN to, through Rediris and then from Rediris to Jeanne and then from Jeanne to wherever for the Large Hadron Collider project, for instance. We use dynamic routing. We, we offer them the possibility <coughs> of having dynamic routing with our two core nodes. So if one of them mm, Barn, uh, they have the other to go to the to the internet. We have multicast, IPv4, IPv6, and quality of service. And we offer the, our users of statistics with Cacti, and uh, an add-on application called SmartTech, and an entity server. When it comes to the value-added services, we have uh, several secondaries. We have a secondary of the domains and reverses of the institution. And we also manage the .es, we have the .cat, .com, .net, a, a secondary of the root F, A, and G, and J. Uh, root F is managed by the Internet Systems Consortium, and .com, .net, A, and J are managed by VeriSign, but we manage the, we have the machines inside our building, and we, we pay the maintenance and we maintain them. The remote access service, it's just for the access from the from the houses of the users, and we are currently deploying mobile access. We also have two NTP servers. We offer voice over the internet for the institutions that are far away from Barcelona, a proxy cache, an STP mirror, and so. We have a computer security incident response team, and we also offer EdRom. The tools that we use are mostly CACTI with several plugins. These plugins Allow, the, allow us to, to have alarms when some thresholds are, are, well, when something is below or above a threshold. And other plugins just to know if, if the statistics from the data are different from ours, for instance. And we have add-on plugins to link with our database, with our CRM. For the Passive monitoring and analysis system, we have a smart check that was tailor made by the, by the Technical University. We have net, uh, network analysis module from Cisco. Our script, we use for sonar, hyper engine to, to see if the network can be fulfilled before 
saying that the uh, line is, is in production. We have a network diagnostic tool for our users, and uh, we are just beginning to use Davix for the server. We used to use Nagios, but now we are beginning to use Davix. We also use standard tools like the Infrared from NPR, and we have an out of one access for our different nodes with ABS. We are only five people in the NOC for network engineers and one student. We say that we have created quite two and two experts. And we work only from the, uh, during the daytime. This is from 8 to 6.30 approximately p.m. But out of our working hours, we have an outsource NOC. So we, we work 24 by 7. But the people, are, our staff people, is only there during the daytime. As the outsourced knock didn't work um, very well, we would say, our staff also monitors the outsourced knock during the weekend. And this is not only the five network engineers, but also the rest of the 35 uh, people at Tesco. So we are like a kind of a knock looking after the knock. And for the integration, we have a gateway between our general database and our NOC database for people contact information. So if anyone changes his cell phone number, it's automatically changed also in our NOC database, and we don't have to do it. The secretary does it. We also have a gateway between CACTI and the NOC database to have all the information together, especially for these people who do not belong to the NOC and, uh, and during the weekends are at home just taking care of the network. So if this is a um, a graph, a, a cacti graph, we added here one button. If they press this button, they see all the information about the technical contact and the telephone number and the address and the executive contact of this institution. But there's a lot of work to do with integration. Usually we have uh, an open window with cacti, another one with clone for the documentation, and another one with the database, and another one with RC, and this is a lot of windows. The types of users that are using our network and services are classified into three categories, A, B, and C, and they have to do mostly with research. They are universities, official bodies of research and development management, and also hospital research departments and technological and scientific parks, for instance. I did not include the ISP that we have connected to our exchange because I focus more on, on the network for researchers but we also have ISPs. So our customers are the institutions, the universities, these 93 points of access. Our users are the technical contacts. We have one technical contact, one official technical contact for each institution, and one backup technical contact. If the researchers or other users into the institution want to contact us, they contact us through them, or at least we make them know that their technical contacts should know they are calling us. We have a written agreement with every institution, and we include the SLA from Orange if they have, if they use one of the things of the list names from Orange. So if Orange has to return us some money, we return them the same amount of money. The tools that we use to communicate with our users are mostly record trackers and telephone. If they send a direct emails, we redirect them to the RC. We use a mailing list, but this is only for the communication from us to them, just to say we are doing, going to do a maintenance in this day. And we use internet mes uh, messaging. Too. To communicate internally, well, as we are less than 40 employees, we usually can communicate directly. We, we eat together. We have a coffee together, so it's easy to to speak with other people in our organization. We also use chat or internet messaging if, if there is no, if we are not in a hurry, if there's something that's not important, that it's not relevant, or email. And if we, do, if we need to do something more specific, then we schedule a specific meeting. <coughs> Outside SESCA, we also use email and RC, the telephone and the internet messaging, it's the same. With other nodes, well, we mostly work with two nodes. One of them is the Didit node. The other one is Orange node. 
So with Redditis, we, we use RC, email, internet messaging, telephone, everything. We keep both ticket numbers on the header. As we both use RC, they have their own ticket number, we have our own ticket number, we keep them both in the header and then we follow the two tickets. And we'll see the same email four times probably. But this is what it is. With Orange Business Services, we have a single manager, we have a single person that um, that has all our incidents, that knows everything about our network. If he's not there, we have a customer telephone with a special number. The things that we document are how to, setting up and configuration of services and devices, changes on services. For instance, if we offer the institution BGP, then we have a, like a template for the things they have to do. We document the interfaces, VLAN numbers, IP addresses, and changes we, we do in the right database when we, when we assign IPs. To update documentation, we use Office or OpenOffice. This is Word, PowerPoint. We use Plone and a wiki, but we used to use a wiki and now we are using Plone. And we don't have any practice document yet because we are beginning to work on iTunes too. We have, uh, a consultant that is doing the work for us. They are just <coughs> looking at how we do the things and probably by the next year we will have something similar to an ITIL document or ITIL practices. So we don't have the best practice documents, but we have docu documents about our services. And well, that's all. If you have any questions. If it's more than six hours, then it's, uh, I think it's 16 percent of the monthly quota. Mm. If it's more than eight hours, then it's 55. It's money.